Hello, I'm the head of horticulture at Caffrey, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to our spring virtual open event for floristry. Today's event is live from Caffrey's beautiful Greenland campus, which is located about two miles from the historic town of Antrim and about 20 miles from Belfast. Greenman first began providing horticulture education here nearly 100 years ago. Floristry courses were first offered 21 years ago and many students have graduated with a professional floristry qualification since then. Today students from across Northern Ireland are enrolled on our two floristry courses and they'll go on to work in florist shops or run their own floristry businesses. Greenmount is well known for its superb teaching facilities and the well-qualified and dedicated staff that support the students. The college is well respected for the quality of the courses it delivers and the very close association it has with industry. Many of those working in floristry in Northern Ireland today have passed through our gates and accredit Greenmount for their success. Former students fondly remember their time at the campus and the lifelong friends and fun they had while they were students here. So welcome. I hope you enjoy our virtual open event. So here we are uh, at Greenman campus in the library and it's in this building that on a normal year we would have gathered uh, before you would have been taken on a tour to see the floristry uh, studios to meet some of our great floristry tutors and to interact with the students who are studying here at level two and level three and see some of their work. Alas, not possible, but we hope you get something out of our virtual open event this evening. So first of all, um, this is a course that are the courses we run here are professional floristry. They're, they're not flower arranging, it's not amateur in any way, it's about people who are going to make a professional living out of floristry. So it's combining the artistic element of floristry with running a business uh, and all that involves the marketing, the interaction with clients, the purchasing of supplies, maintaining of stock, um, all of those things coming together with great speed and dexterity and delivering service to customers. So that's what professional floristry is and that is what distinguishes it from what other people might call flower arranging. Okay, um, on my left here I have Laurie Hartman. Um, Laurie is senior lecturer and Laurie manages the floristry program. So I'm going to ask Laurie first of all to introduce herself and, and say a little bit about her background. Thanks, Paul. Um, yes, I grew up in the U.S., and that's where I studied horticulture. Um, and as part of my horticulture course, um, I also studied floriculture. So what that is is the, the process of growing cut flowers for sale to market. Um, and so it, it's really the, the sort of horticultural side of floristry, if you will. Um, but that also led to more interest in floristry for me, and I also studied um, some floral design classes as well. So it gives, it, you know, I had a good background understanding of the whole sort of full circle of, of how floristry works, because you've got to get the product first, and then it comes into the shop, and you create something beautiful with it. Um, so that's sort of my link to floristry, um, but of course, We've also got two wonderful lecturers here who, who are truly florists. Okay, okay. And, and of course that link between seeing the plants grow is maintained here at the campus and it's, it's very good that the floristry course is based at a horticultural campus because the florists can see the production of the flowers and for some actually they might get involved later at home in growing some of the produce they will use in their, their enterprises, their shops. Okay, Laurie, the level two in floristry, so that's our basic course. If you tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, um, level two is really your starting point. Um, if you're new to floristry or you maybe only have a little bit of experience, uh, level two is the place to start. And so um, it's our entry level course, but it really is um, quite a full course. You learn a range of different designs you learn about the, the floral techniques that are needed to build those designs. And so when, when I walk into a level two classroom, I can see what the students have been doing that day and they do all look relatively similar. Um, 
and, and so that's really at level two, getting that foundation skill and the technical skill for floristry. It also entails things like um, plant identification for both cut flowers and uh, potted plants that you might sell in a flower shop. Um, it covers customer service, which is such a huge part of floristry. Um, it, it's really interesting because it's not just about working with flowers. You also need to be able to have those interactions because remember, people are coming to a flower shop at both their very best points in life, you know, weddings, <laughs> celebrations, but also, you know, some of the hardest points in life with, you know, funerals and things like that, memorials. And so as a florist, you need to be able to empathize with people and work with people. Okay, so level two very much about building that skills base mm -hmm. uh, and speed and dexterity and learning some of the techniques, the basic techniques that, that span the florist designs. Yeah. Okay, um, a little bit about the structure of the program. It's a, it's a full-time course and so students would be on campus about three days a week mm -hmm. and then um, also as part of that there's a, a very important work experience element. So throughout the entire year students would be one day a week in a work placement in a flower shop. Mm -hmm. So that means they're getting to see the full floristry year. They're getting to participate in the key holidays and see mm -hmm. how much busier it is at that time of year um, and get real experience. Um, you know, a flower shop is busy, it can be cold, but it can also be quite fun and fulfilling. Uh, so students also go through, um, you know, they, they have Practical classes every day, but also a bit of theory, um, always preparing them f towards their assessments. Yeah, and of course, you mentioned there flower shops, hard work sometimes, a bit mm. cold sometimes, uh, and you would always advise people who are thinking of floristry maybe to try and get a bit of experience before coming on the program, just to make sure it is for them. Yeah. Okay, um, so, so that's the structure. Are there fees for, for the course? No, there are no fees for the course. Um, it's an FE course, and the only fees that um, is optional are to purchase your flowers. Yeah. Now, Caffrey will provide the flowers no matter what, but if people choose to take their flowers home, which um, you make you know, two to three some arrangements every week. Yes, we've got some level two sample work here today, um, and you can take those home with you for quite a reasonable fee over the course of the year. Okay, thank you for that. So now we're going to hear from a student that progressed from the level two floristry program to the level three floristry program, and her name is Zara Preston. So let's hear Zara's story. Hello, my name is Zara Preston. I am from OMA and I'm currently studying level three floristry. I came to Greenmount after studying my GCSEs. I chose floristry because it was something different and I love the way that it's both practical and you also have your theory as well to it. Um, I love the way you can take home what you've made and to say that you've made it. Um, Green Mind has definitely given me so much confidence. Um, even with the placement, I love it. I'm currently doing my placement in Floral Temptations in Oma. Um, even answering the phones, dealing with customers, it's all of the little stuff to see the running of the shop and it's so good because you get to see what the owner of the shop, what they have achieved um, and it makes you want to work towards that. Um, Green Mind isn't all about class and books and everything. I lived up in my first year. Um, I love the halls. The halls, you always there's always somebody there to talk to. I was worried at the start um, about making new friends because I knew nobody coming up to Green Mind. Um, you always have somebody knocking on your door being like, what are you at? Are you coming out? Um, there's so much to do and you make so many new friends. Green Mind has set me up so well for the world of work once I finish in May. Um, I took a year out last year to work in a florist to just build up my confidence and just to see the general running of the shop. I then started my level three this year and I love it. Um, 
it's something that I don't regret doing. I was so scared for coming to Greenmount because I have never done floristry before. Um, it wasn't like I grew up in it. Um, I was just sort of three in at the deep end with my placement and then coming to class and you get to make so many new friends within the floristry course and other courses across the campus, which I love. So great to hear from Zara there. Obviously very, very passionate about the subject she's studying and enjoying life tremendously. So I'm um, going to move on, Laurie, and talk about level three now. We've talked about level two, the basic course where you learn your skills and your dexterity and practice the basics. So what's the fundamental difference between that and level three? Uh, well, level three is certainly uh, a significant step up in terms of your the, the craft involved in floristry. So at level two, like I said, you're walking in, you're seeing the same arrangement from one student to the next. At level three, you start to develop yourself and your style as a florist. Okay. You start to bring more creativity into the designs, learn more intricate methods of, of design uh, principles and things like that. Also at level three, uh, there's a slightly higher expectation for work experience. Um, most people are in the shops two days a week as opposed to one day a week. Many students that progress also find that they are then employed in the shop. Um, that's you know totally up to the student to arrange that sort of thing, but because they've gotten a level two qualification, they can go and work in a florist. So um, level three also brings in more business elements. So you're learning about how to manage a shop, um, how to start your own business. We bring in outside experts to, to talk to students about that process. Um, and also some of the bigger floristry pieces, you know, looking at events um, and, and that sort of thing. So it, it just brings it full circle for the program. And we often ask um, applicants to really think about it as a two-year floristry course rather than, you know, they are two standalone qualifications. But if possible, to think of it over the two years to allow yourself to get that full range of, of knowledge and skills. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I mean, it's almost essential that you'd have the level two before you embarked upon a level three. Yes, it's, it really is a very rare situation where we take someone directly on to level three. They need to have quite significant experience in a flower shop um, in order to come on at that point. Because when you come into level three class, you're expected to know how to make a forward-facing symmetrical arrangement or a, a bouquet yeah. or whatever it is and then you add your flair. Uh, and even if you're in a flower shop for an extended period you mightn't have experienced the range that the students will cover at level two. Yes yeah. and I often talk to applicants you know we, we when we do our career advisory discussions it's very much about finding the right fit for each person okay. and it's not to try to hold people back or to say you need to be doing two years of study but it's more what kind of florist do you ultimately want mm. to be? And that means getting the proper foundation at level two and then moving on moving to, on level, to three. level three. And of course, it's a year program as well, the academic year. For yeah, September. Each, each course takes one academic year, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And um, the same requirement for work experience? Yes, um, coming in, uh, you would need to have, if you're coming directly onto level three, we're looking for at a minimum a full year um, fully employed in a flower shop. Um, but usually it's more than that. Okay. Um, and then otherwise you would have experience from coming from the level two. Okay. Folks, um, remember it's a live event tonight, so if you're out there, give us a thumbs up, uh, say hello. Um, you can make comments or ask questions and we'll endeavor to, to answer them either directly live on the show or afterwards. Um, Caffrey's ethos is about learn by doing, um, and floristry is a very prime example of that. It is the practice that makes perfect uh, in many ways. So I'm going to join floristry tutor now, Sherry Suet, who's going to take us on a little tour of the floristry facilities, which are actually some of the best uh, in the UK at the moment. So over to Sherry. <laughs> Hi, I'm a member of the floristry lecturing team here at Greenmount campus. I teach on both the level two and level three floristry program and I'm also year manager for the level two group. I was involved in my family floristry business from an early age 
and later studied floristry and worked in the industry before joining Caffrey. The floristry studio is set within the beautiful surroundings of the wall garden at Greenmount campus. Originally, these buildings were on the site of the original potting sheds and were repurposed as part of the millennium restoration of the wall garden. Today, the floristry facilities are set up to replicate a flower shop scenario. Entering the studio, we have the front of house, where we showcase floral pieces, have flower fridges and a sales counter. The students use this space throughout the year to create window displays, practice packaging their finished pieces and even sell floral arrangements with Caffrey staff. Two dedicated classrooms reflect the typical back of house where all the floristry skills are honed to produce beautiful designs. In the classrooms, students work at raised benches and have access to a full range of sundries and floristry tools to work on their designs. More recently, the college invested in the plant studio as a more versatile shop space. Floristry students not only learn about the cut flowers that make up most arrangements, but also about indoor plants which are a vital aspect of many floristry businesses. We also take advantage of our links with the horticultural programme, sourcing flowers and foliages from the horticulture centre where possible. When working closely with the floristry industry, we are ensuring that our graduates meet the high standard the industry demands. A vital part of both floristry courses is a weekly work placement. It allows students to experience the reality of working in a commercial flower shop and apply what they have learned directly to the needs of their clients. I hope you have enjoyed this virtual tour of our floristry facilities and I look forward to you joining this exciting and creative course next September. So I hope you enjoyed that glimpse with Sherry and of course Sherry is one of the two full-time floristry tutors we have here based at the college that look after level two and level three programs. Turning to Laurie again, Laurie, employability after these programs, what, what do people do? Uh, well, there's a range of roles that people can go into, Paul. I mean, across Caffrey, we have a really good employability rate, but floristry is very good indeed. And at level two, um, again, it's setting you up to work in a flower shop is the main sort of pathway. Um, and then at level three, you're starting to get more managerial experience. Um, so you could go into a shop as a manager, uh, or you may even choose to set up your own business. And I mean, there are a ream of, of florist shops that have set up following their experience here at Caffrey um, across Northern Ireland. And some have gone further afield. Um, there are some, some quite uh, sort of well-known florists, even in London, who have studied at Caffrey. People have gone on to do some very interesting things working on cruise ships, uh, mm -hmm. you know. So it, it's sort of um, whatever your particular interest is in floristry, you can follow that after the, the courses here at Caffrey. Yeah, yeah. And some very niche things and some very high-end things uh, as well. Um, and some students, of course, are exceptionally skilled uh, and develop their skills and, and they have a natural talent mm -hmm. that really comes out. Um, we're going to hear from our next uh, student graduate, um, Clara Agnew. Clara did level two and then progressed to level three. And over that journey, she picked up tremendous skills and, and that natural ability that has led her to actually be involved in a competition. But I'll let Clara tell you the rest. Hi, I'm Clara Agnew and I graduated the Level 3 Floristry course in 2019. I currently work for Armagh Blooms as a full-time florist. During my time at Greenmount, I was given so many opportunities, we were able to go on study trips and to compete. Because I had the opportunity to compete, I made it to the national final in Birmingham for World Skills, where I was then selected for Squad UK. Squad UK is a training development programme for young, skill-based workers. I'm currently working towards Shanghai in 2022, where if selected, I'll go and compete against different floors from around the world to obtain a medal. The training for Squad UK has changed due to COVID-19, and we now train over Zoom. So I recently had a training facility built outside my house to help me along on my journey. Greenwood was the best years of my life, and so many brilliant things come out of it. If you're anything like me and prefer a practical-based subject and working with your hands, this is the course for you. There's so many opportunities with it 
and the staff and the course itself is just brilliant. So let's hope that Clara can fulfil her dream and get to Shanghai to compete in the World Skills Final, which will be some achievement and a first for Caffrey. Um, so, Laurie, we'll come back to the campus here. Do students reside on the campus? Can they reside on the campus or do they all travel? Uh, no, there's a mixture, Paul. Um, we have wonderful accommodation facilities here. Um, and the nice thing is that we can cater to both under 18s and over 18s um, through the different types of accommodation. Um, in terms of, you know, this sort of coming to study can lead to really wonderful friendships. And, and I think uh, floristry courses do tend to be smaller classes. And so by living on campus, it gives students the opportunity to meet more students from horticulture, agriculture, LBE, courses of vet nursing that we have here at Caffrey um, at Greenmount campus and we have wardening staff who work closely uh, with the students providing different activities in the evenings uh, sort of trips out um, and so there's a lot going on uh, when you live on campus mm -hmm. but we also have good transport uh, connections so for those who are traveling back and forth they can get uh, a train or a bus to Antrim and then there's another bus that comes from Antrim station um, past Caffrey on its way to the airport, so there's a, a direct link there. Okay, and, and of course there'll be a mixture of age groups in the floristry program? Yes, we get, um, every year we get, you know, some school leavers and then some people who are changing career and even some people who have maybe taken early retirement. So there's, there's quite a range of people who are looking to get into floristry as a profession. Yeah, okay. So um, we're going now to join William Henry and William's going to give us a glimpse of the residential facilities and the more general facilities around the campus. So over to William. My name is William Henry and I'm a first year student here in the foundation degree in Agriculture and Technology course. I would like to show you around and let you see what's on offer for students who choose to live on campus. The under 18 students live in either Boyd or Fulton Hall. The bedrooms in Boyd Hall are en suite and are cosy and comfortable while Fulton Hall has a single study bedrooms which are shared bathroom facilities for a small number of students. The over 18 students stay in the self-catering accommodation in the student village either in one of the bungalows or a lodge. Around 12 students live in each of the lodges and three in each of the bungalows. The bedrooms in the lodges are all ensuite and there's a shared kitchen, sitting room, laundry facilities. Every evening, students living in campus accommodation are looked after by the residential support team. These staff with the Student Representative Council arrange activities for the students like going to the cinema, ice skating, various sporting activities or outings to Belfast. There is a gym in Greenmount Resource Centre and sports hall as well. The residential support team also look after the safety and security of students when they are on site. The main place to eat on campus is the Manor Restaurant which is open throughout the day from 8 in the morning to 6 at night and provides a great range of meals. The Cyber Cafe which is in the Greenmount Resource Centre also offers snacks and drinks from 10 in the morning so there's absolutely no excuse for anybody to go hungry. Most under 18 students have a cater card which their parents or guardians preload with money so you don't have to carry cash about which is very handy. One of the main places on campus for classes and recreation is the Greenmount Resource Centre or as we call it, the GRC. This is where most of the classrooms, lecture theatres and IT suites are. The Student Services Manager Leslie Ann's office is here too and she can help with any queries or issues you may have. Also, this is where some of the residential support team are found in the evenings. The Cyber Cafe is also located in the GRC and serves food, which is also the main social hub for students to hang out. There's TVs, pool tables, football, as well as table tennis and computers to play games on. The core to any college is the library, and I have to say, all the students love the newly refurbished library here at Greenmount. It has a great selection of relevant journals and books as well as an extensive collection of e-learning materials. The library is also a great place to study if you want just a bit of peace and quiet. 
Greenmount is only three miles away from the town of Antrim. It has everything you will need in terms of shopping, cafes, restaurants and entertainment and it is also around 30 minutes from Belfast. When you live on campus, it is so easy to make friends and there is a real sense of community. Living away from home has made me much more independent and I love the freedom of doing my own thing. I hope you enjoyed the tour and maybe I will see you here next year. So that's it folks, we're, we're coming to an end. So perhaps just to summarize, floristry, uh, a fantastic career combining art with business, um, good career prospects, good career prospects, um, an exciting career, an interesting career, um, and suitable to, to many young people. Um, we've tried tonight to give you a bit of flavor of the campus, of the staff, and there's a little more to come in the video that follows. It introduces you to some of the staff that might be more background staff, like the people that manage the library, etc. Just so you get a, an even more feel. The title of the video is A Campus That Cares. And just to say, if you've any queries whatsoever about floristry, please, please just lift the phone and ask to speak to one of the floristry tutors. And we'll be more than happy to ring you back or engage on the telephone. Equally, if you want to make an application to the course, um, you register on the website, you make your application, and after that, a careers advisory interview is organized. Uh, and that's a no commitment industry or uh, interview where basically we talk through your particular circumstances, your aspirations, your qualifications, etc., and give you the best advice we can. So, with that, I leave you with the video A Campus That Cares. Good night and thank you. Caffrey staff, supporting you to achieve your potential. Hello, I'm the Greenmount Librarian and I manage our learning resources in the library. The library was refurbished a couple of years ago and provides a welcoming place to study. Students love to come here to get books, journals or e-learning materials. It's also a great place to research on your own or in groups. As Simon due dates approach, the library can get really busy, but I'm always in hand to offer support. As the Student Support Officer for CAFRI, my role is to help those students who declare additional needs, such as dyslexia. I help make the transition from school to college life and have the support in place to help them complete their CAFRI qualification. I usually meet the student before they start their course and agree a bespoke programme of support. This may include extra time for exams or allocation of support tutors if needed. I am also the Leading Safeguarding Officer for CAFRI and will work in partnership with all my education colleagues to ensure that all learners receive a high level of pastoral care. Hi, I am a lecturer in the floristry course here at Greenmount Campus and I'm the Year Manager for Level 3. It is a fantastic job as I teach people who are really interested in what they are doing and I get to share my passion for flowers and plants. I also encourage and support students who take part in UK skills and other floristry competitions such as RHS shows at Chelsea and Tatton Park. It's great to see students build skills, progress and grow in confidence. Hi, I'm the Student Services Manager at Greenmount Campus. Along with the residential support team, I am responsible for managing student accommodation and providing pastoral care to all the students. We are available in the evenings and overnight to make sure that everyone stays safe and well. We organise a weekly programme of evening activities to help you make new friends and to settle into college life. Your welfare and safety is our priority.